Hi there, it's Olga with Nextdeck. Um, if you've seen some of the other videos, we've been talking about cybersecurity today, and it's so important because the conversation really has changed from uh, if you're maybe going to get hit and the odds may be in your favor to you're at some point going to get hit. The question is just when. Uh, I know that's a really scary thought, but uh, that's the reality we're moving towards. So it's better to know of that now and then actually put some things in place to protect your business. So today, uh, we're, this, this is the third um, video talking about how to protect your business just on a basic level of some cyber security, some cyber criminal activity. So in the first videos, we talked about firewalls, which is the basic network layer to protect your network from the outer world. The second one was talking about PC and endpoint protection. So all your devices that are connected to your network, how you can make sure they're protected. And then this is going to talk about really the biggest point of failure in your business. And those are your people. Uh, human error. That is by far the, the biggest reason for any breach. We click on something, we uh, download something, any one of us, even the best trained people have probably done it at some point, even if it didn't result in, a, um, in an immediate virus or anything like that. All of us have probably fallen for some, spam, for, for some phishing attacks. And really the reality is they're getting really, really, really good. Um, we did a test here at NextDeck internally and um, I remember I got an email that I was like, I don't even know what this is. Um, I'm going to hit unsubscribe at the bottom. Well, guess what? It was a test to see if I would fall for it. And I totally did. And I would consider myself fairly educated. So if that can happen to me, that will definitely happen to your employees, especially if they're not quite as versed. So um, a couple things. There's different things to consider. Number one are policies and procedures um, that are really rules within your company that uh, maybe help dictate a little bit where employees can go on the internet and where not, or what happens if they click on something. Uh, number two would be a clear action plan if employees consistently breach those policies. What, what's going to be, how serious is that for your business? Number three will be to make sure that you put some training and awareness in place for your employees, because I don't think you can expect them to change their behavior unless you really help them have some guidelines. Um, there is specific training out there. We offer it at NextDeck. Um, there's other providers that offer it too that um, can help you design whole campaigns and basically spoof your employees and send it out and then give you specific reports. Um, there's tools out there that allow you you to actually assign a, um, a risk number to every single employee and that changes with their behavior and tracks different things that they do uh, that really can point you to maybe employees that are a weaker link and also what activity in their behavior is the weaker link so that we can really coach them effectively. And some of that training even gives you action steps. So there's a lot of good tools about it, but it could also just start with something like um, making sure cybersecurity awareness is part of your training manual and you have some very generic guidelines. So it can go all the way from some very generic um, presentations or resources or reading material to very targeted training, which probably going to have the most effect. Um, and then make sure that you also have an action plan for your company if something actually happens. For that, you're probably going to have to involve um, some more professional experts and services that can really help you uh, navigate that because you're getting into some legal things that, you know, and some other things. Um, but really, the, the key is your employers are your weakest link, so make sure you put something in place. And then as usual, with everything that you want to change in your business, make sure somebody owns that. And not just that they have to be the expert on everything, but somebody owns the project of getting policies in place, making sure they're followed, who owns the training, um, and make sure that's followed through. And it could be just as much as that's the contact person for your IT provider who you work with, who can provide a lot of those services. So. Um, Thanks for listening and thanks for watching. Um, as usual, if you don't know where to start, give us a call. We can definitely help you.